Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news with the one, the only, the legend that is Mr. Tony Mortimer. He tells us everything about his latest album and of course some of those wonderful E17 memories. Remember though, Tony? Yeah, that's right, Neil. Miss it and miss out. Don't miss Tony today on your entertainment news. Yeah, looking back, um, I, I smile and I look back and I accept that, you know, that was me a lot younger, uh, a lot greener, and um, I, was, I had a different vision on the world then, and it changes as you get older. But I, yeah, it's a different person back then. And there was obviously a, a kind of gradual changing of, of who I am, my personality. So there was a time when I couldn't look back um, straight after the band, but now I look back and yeah, it's, it's kind of with fondness and and a bit of a giggle, especially with the clothes I'm wearing. more excited about trying to win a smash. I wanted a smash hits award. It wasn't most fancy but no. I think Mark Owen got that for about 27 years on the trot. So I knew that one had gone, but I really wanted a smash hits award. Because to me, at my age, that meant everything. Um, as a writer, and I, and I say to people, or people always say, oh, he's won an Ivan Novello. I don't, it's not something I ever say to people, but it does carry a lot of weight around the world uh, with, professional musicians and songwriters all go, oh really? Oh, and they take you more serious. So I'm blessed I've got it and I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world. And I love the award, but I really wanted a Smash Hits award. I just did. It was like like you have dreams as kids and the Smash Hits award. That was it. That was it. I always wanted to be on the Terry Wogan show as well and that dissolved before I got my chance. It's like I'm losing my mind. And my shadows agree. Cause when you call my name, son. I always wanted to record in a good old fashioned analog style with an orchestra. And for me, the, the, the quality of analog is, is just so much nicer, so much more depth to it than um, digital. And it's also it's a collection of songs um, from probably spread over f five or more years of my life. So they mean a lot to me. They're about my relationship and hopefully other people can listen to them as well and recognize or, or kind of relate to some of the stuff I'm singing about. So it means a lot to me. And also this song represents um, a kind of golden opportunity where it's come around again and I'm getting my chance to record music and get it out to the public again, which for an artist is, it's kind of like, um, it's like having your identity back. So I feel blessed with this album. All my defenses. 